people today worshiping other gods. And the people did eat and bow down to their gods. Verse 3. And Israel joined himself unto Balak Peor. Aren't our people doing that in the denominational churches on Sunday? Balak Peor, Baal. Notice that word Baal. They're worshiping on Sunday, which is Baal. They're not keeping the rehearsing the Shabbat day, which we're doing right now. We rehearse it Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. They're not doing that. They worship in Baal. And the anger of Yahweh was kindled against Israel. Verse 4. And the Lord said unto Moses, Take all the heads of the people and hang them up before the Lord against the sun, that the fierce anger of Yahweh may be turned away from Israel. Uh-huh. That's it, brother. Right there. You hear that? Yep. You hear what this young man said, brothers? Now look at what's going on. That's the young man, Father Allah, the Father. This brother is learning the scriptures. He's learning how to be a priest yep. and be a general. This is what we raise up here in the base, man. Right. Most times you show yourself, man. I'm 60 years old, and other brothers ain't got any job. Can you imagine how you're going to be when you get to our age? Good. Good. Well, we got to get out of here. And that's what we going to raise up here, man. I'm going to say the raise of our people. It's going to go out for that lesson, brother. Uh, there's and, more. Uh, there's more to it. Yeah, the box service. Okay. Ah. Good. And now we're going to speak to that. All right, God. And I'll bring time that I have. Right. We'll be talking about the law and the testimony today. Mm-hmm. And this is what our people need to get a good foundation in. We're going to be merciful to you, brothers. You brothers just coming back in here. We have mercy on you because your honor said be merciful in his time. We're here to help you. We're not here to destroy anybody. Right. So we're going to have mercy on each and every one of you in the room. Let's go to Proverbs chapter 8, verse 36. Let's go to Proverbs chapter 8, verse 36. It says this. What it says? Proverbs chapter 8, verse 36. But he that sinneth against me. He that sinneth against me. Against me. The brother who got the commandments. Yep. This is what we're trying to get our people to stop doing. He said, he that sinneth against me, what's the sin? The sin is a a, a breaking of the commandments. The Christian churches under the doctrine of the lies of the Roman church are telling our people not to keep commandments. Right. And I read it in Matthew 5, 17. If you ain't got no discipline, let's go to Baruch chapter 4, you got it. And let's read Baruch chapter 4. If you ain't got no discipline in your Makaka, what are you going to have in there? You have brothers committing adultery. You have brothers in there, just like in Joshua 71, when the brothers were told, don't eat this when you're going in, in, in there. We're going to war. God will give us directions. He said, don't go in there and touch this and that. Right? With the brothers. That's right. And they're waiting. And the brothers stole us, brothers. And the angel took it to the most high. Right. And he brought it to the, to the, to the council. They said, this brother right here, you know what he did? He burnt this whole brother's throat down. Yep. Everybody died. See, this is what we did when we got out on the house shop, man. The most high will bring this order. Purging is coming to Israel. You ain't getting on the side of the most high brother, you're going to get destroyed. And right now, we are the mercy. Mm-hmm. Under the law. That's why we come out here, like it says in Jeremiah 16 16. He said, Go fish out the brother, and after that, when the armies of Yahweh come, then we're going to kick some ass from left field to right field. And we're going to put this earth under the most house church. Go to Baruch chapter 4 and verse 13. Read that to come. Book of Baruch chapter 4 and verse 13. They knew not his statutes. So you were ignorant. Nor walked in the ways of his commandments. So we ain't walking in. So what we get a brother coming in or a sister coming in? I can't walk the back of church. And you walk up in there. You know what you got to do? You got to go in the end of the line. 
sinners. The Makanda, the camps, must be sanctified. You must be holy. You got to be sanctified up here in your land, and then you got to learn how to put on these gods. This is your heritage, man. The Lord of Blue, the Fringes, and the Rose, the headbands of Israel, this is a discipline. This ain't nothing to play with. This is a discipline. And if you ain't got discipline, you're going to fall on that fire and water. Got to walk that straight path, man. We don't. God, nor Triton in the paths of discipline in his righteousness. In his righteousness. So if you got no commandments, let's go back to Proverbs 8.36. God. God. But he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. So you wrong in your damn self. We try to do this. You know what I mean? You pay your worship. You follow up in Islam. We go up against all idol philosophies on this earth with our life. That's right. right here. And the whole time will back us up 100%. Read mm-hmm. on. God. Wrong with his own soul. All they that hate me love death. So you hate the most high, you love life. You love death. Love you love death. Love mm-hmm. death. When we tell you things to repeat, your ass gonna die if you don't say the name of in the Bible. You tell you women, stop playing with these nations. That's the world. So the most high said, if you love me, go to 1 John 5 and 3. Mm-hmm. Get that, you come here. Let's go to 1 John chapter 5, verse 3. Oh, this love, 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 love. What, what is love? Make your brother run out. Keeping the commandments. You know that, y'all? Keeping the commandments. What, what did the disciples say what love is? God is love in your heart and you will not fail. Listen to this. What is it? God, this is the book of 1 John chapter 5 and verse 3. For this is the love of your house. This is the love of our creator, the one that made everything. Read. That we keep his commandments. No, no, go to the Baptist church. That we keep his commandments. The Seventh-day Adventist church. That we keep his commandments. The Catholic church. That we keep his commandments. Go before the Lord. That we keep his commandments. That's what he told us to do. The commandments. The commandments. And a lot of people don't want to learn the commandments. You know why you don't want to learn the commandments? I'm going to show you why you don't want to learn the commandments. Get second answers. Uh, 7 verse 58. This is going to be the battle. Mm-hmm. We're going to be what kind of battle? What kind of battle are we in? You coming? Get second Corinthians 4 and 3. See, we ain't in a battle with this. Let's show you what kind of battle we in, man. Read on uh, Second Ezra chapter seven verse fifty-eight, and then you come here, you give me Second Corinthians chapter four verse three. Read. God, second Ezra chapter seven verse fifty-eight. That if he be overcome, he shall suffer as thou hast said. But if he get the victory, he shall receive. The things that I say. So what the Holy says to get the victory over wickedness is what? Read. God. For this is the life whereof Moses spake unto the people. So Moses gave us the commandments. Mm-hmm. That's right. He told us to read. God, while he lived, saying, Choose thee life. Choose thee life, Israel. That thou to you, you choose your life. You got a choice. You got three choices to choose. Whether you gonna keep the commandments or whether you gonna say, "Well, I don't wanna be bothered with y'all. I don't walk out of here." You free to walk out of here anytime. Why you walking out of here? We are gonna be good enough. We are gonna be traveling. We are gonna be medicine. Brothers ask me, "Brother, you came out of one place. What do you mean, man? I've been on the road." Yeah. Tell them just like chapter five. Jeremiah chapter 5, I've been going up in the churches, I've been going in the galleries, I've been going to Central America, I've been going up in Mexico, Puerto Rico, anyway. Look at all the people ministering to them, talking this word on them, the music. Okay. And we're going to be traveling all over the place like the apostles did. Why are you free to all of God, that life that thou mayest live. Nevertheless, they believe not him. Not him. Yet the prophets after him know nor me, which
which I have spoken unto them. So how many you believe? You have to believe what's in this book. If you don't believe the scripture, man, you're wasting time. You ain't going to get no blessings at all. Read. Come on, verse 61. That there should not be such heaviness in their destruction as shall be joy over them that are persuaded to salvation. So we're persuaded. You know what we're here for? I'm here to minister to you the gospel of the most high Yahweh and Yahweh Shah to get your behind out of the way out of the fire. See? Now what kind of warfare we get? Read that. Are you coming? This is the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse if our gospel is it is it them that are lost who's lost in whom the Yahweh of this world has blinded the minds of them which believe not so the gods of this world have deceived you mm -hmm. got you the gods of this world have deceived you yes, so we can't believe in the Caesar we can't believe in God that Esau translated in the Bible for we have to believe in the original name and the original commandments and the law and the testimony so that you can get sanctified and be saved. Read on, brother. God, you know the God of this world has blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Masasha Right. Who is the image of the house? Find unto them. So when we tell you the house shall look like us, you was a so far Negro, if you was a Yahweh, if you was a Ephraimite, I would still buy money to the Lord. Right. You know why? Because that's the most high son, that's his will, and if you would have brought the brothers out to any other tribe, he would still be my child. He would be my savior. So this is how we gotta think in Israel, man. Something that always tell you. Christianity. 
passing down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of your house. So the knowledge of your house. So we got the knowledge of your house where? Five, five, eight, five, six, 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 five, so when we come to y'all, we turn to y'all this. Read Proverbs chapter 2, verse 1. God, Proverbs chapter 2, verse 1. My son, if thou my wilt, Israel. my son. You sons of Israel, hear this. Read. If thou wilt receive my words and hide my commandments with thee. See, hide the commandments with you. With you. Be as Abraham was. When Abraham left her the child Jesus, what were his family members doing? They were still in that. They were worshiping planets, yep. stars, and the stuff of this world. Look at our people today we get separated from. Negro working, worshiping Islam. They running around and talking about the African Americans. They talking about the native this and that. Whatever pollution that's around us, we getting away from that by following this now. God, verse two. So that thou incline thine ear unto wisdom. Why do you hear that to wisdom? Wisdom. And the wisdom on the whole side is a command, see? And apply thine heart to understanding. And apply your heart to understanding. Come to the classes and get wisdom and understanding of salvation that's in your house, y'all, by keeping commandments and the faith of him. Really? Yeah. If thou criest after knowledge and liftest up thy voice, for understanding. Verse 4. If thou seekest her as silver and searchest for her as for hid treasures, then shalt thou understand the fear of Yahweh. And then you're going to understand the fear of the Most High. You got to pursue this thing. So when we get on the air, we tell y'all to come on in here and learn. Man, you better be sitting up here like this. Yes, my Oh, yeah. 
power shower coming out of the heavens to a rock with thunder. Boom! That's what he prophesied in Matthew 24. He said, the son of man is going to come out of the heavens from the east and with a great blowing of the trumpet and then it's going to be a thunder. And that's when the angels and all the entourage of heaven are going to come down here to destroy America, the allies, and the nations. And the ones that's left over, read. The Lord, the house shall judge the ends of the earth. So everybody on this planet Earth, these nations ain't getting away with nothing. From the top of Babylon, the great America, down to the man in the day of jungle eating bats, they're going to be judged. Read it. And he shall give strength unto his king. And his king is who? Who is the king?